puppy. And then I started thinking about all the times where Medi would constantly throw it in her face. I started to see Medi in a completely new sight. Medi is the definition of an abusive. What's up everybody? Thanks for tuning in to this episode of English Turks, where I normally review your favorite Turkish series with and without English subtitles. But today, we are gonna take a quick side break to talk about why I am no longer Team Medi and I'm now on Team Barish. Stay tuned. <laughs> please smash it for me real quick and then if you haven't clicked that subscribe button you definitely want to stick around because this year it's gonna be fun now if you've ever watched any of my um, reviews or any listen to any of my podcasts you know that I'm having a really tough time with trying to accept anything with Badish in it and I'm a little confused on my thoughts about Medi. Now, so far I haven't taken any sides or I kind of taken, like I'm still like leaning towards this Medi thing at the time. Not really leaning towards, but I've just been, you know, trying to understand where the series is going and the more and more episodes that I watch, I'm starting to realize something. I don't know if this is truly the case, but to me, they are definitely sharing a message about domestic violence with women involved. And don't get me wrong, men experience domestic violence as well. But this one, I just feel like in this show, they're really trying to bring attention to domestic violence towards women. And hopefully that is the case because I know the series is not gonna end anytime soon. I'm hoping that, you know? But until we know for sure, there's still, everything's still up in the air. It, you know, she could end up with Medi again. I'm still thinking back to the beginning when we saw Medi in the counseling session talking to the counselor and we saw Zainab doing the same thing. Now they could be talking to the counselors on their own and has nothing to do with each other personally, like getting back together or anything like that. But um, I still feel like something is bound to happen. Let's talk about why I am absolutely no longer Team Medi and now I am kind of Team Badish. Now, so far we have seen this huge transition since we came back in on episode 12. We are now on, I think, episode 26 or something like that. We came in on episode 12. They were in love with each other. Like, they told each other they loved them. Zainab just graduated from from college and then she started to look for her job there was a job that she really wanted and Medi was supporting her and getting this job now she does end up getting the job but losing the job because she was running after Medi since Medi was doing some violent actions she didn't want him to do now she does get fired but then she gets rehired due to Medi sending the video of her graduation speech to Badish Bay so now she gets her job back and she's working However, behind this whole thing was always Mujgan. Mujgan was always behind Medi's ears, spewing things, making Medi think a lot of different things. As you know, Medi was raised a little bit differently. He was raised with this whole thing where the man runs the household and the woman just obey everything the man says and they really just stay in the home and work and to please their husbands, clean the house. You know, that's what brings them joy is just working for the husbands and that's her mother's mindset and so she, they're not really of that new age but Medi tried to be accepting of Zainab's uh, way of life of how she was raised by you know being able to be independent getting a job earning money her dream was to be a lawyer so he tried to be accepting of this which is one of the reasons why he sent the video to Baj Bay so she can get her job back however when Mushkan kept spewing all these things in his ear, you know, a lot of that, the way he was raised just came back up. And the need to want to be this possessive, you know, man, this head of the household type thing started to overtake him and then he started to do a lot of stupid things. Now that resulted in their divorce and here's the thing, as we saw this transition of Medi, little things were happening, okay? We, he was yelling, 
he was smashing the he turned off he turned over the table then he smashed a chair on the table and then he locked her in the house like they had a lot of back and forth he also was following her and he made it a point to drop her off and pick her up from work every single day even when she was interviewing for the job in the first place he wanted to be there to pick her up drop her off and so a lot of things were happening now when they got divorced there needed to be some kind of boundaries however the way Medi not Medi but the way Zenab was raised kind of started to play into more effect because Zainab was, the way Zainab was raised, her mindset is to always, you know, try to make others happy. She didn't want other people to be sad. And that really stemmed from knowing that her mother was so sad about her brother passing away. Her mother was so sad about the state of her marriage with her husband. And her mother was also so sad that Zainab was being raised in this wealthy household, even though she did it for the good of her. So she always feels this sense of like, need to 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 make them happy you know she wants to please she's a pleaser and so it, that was part of what played an effect on this marriage you know she tried to still have that independence which she got from Nerman, ne and then she also had this pleasing thing which she got from Sakine so when Zaina, you know, divorces Medi, she's also trying to still be kind to Medi, but never knowing where to set the boundaries. So she would do things like um, still going to the house, and also they had Kibri, so that also played an effect, you know. Uh, she was still talking to him on the phone, and he was still showing up to her like, job, and he was still giving her rides, and then he shows up to her house, like, uh, you know, a lot of different things. and. And she would just accept those things because she she wants to be on good terms. She wants to be a pleaser. She doesn't want Medi to be upset with her, but yet she still wants to keep the distance, you know? So it's really difficult because she doesn't know how to say no. She doesn't know how to say, you know, move away. In other things, yes, because, like, she'll show a strong, firm thing when it comes to Mujgan and stuff like that. But when it came to Medi, it was difficult because she just didn't want to break his heart or be the one to break his heart or anything like that. And so what made it even worse was like when they went to uh, the funeral and everything and she tried to be there for the family. She had just divorced Medi. Now it wasn't that long, but it, it had to be quite a couple of weeks because they had went home to their hometown, Mushkan and them had went to the hometown to announce the marriage, came back, and then a couple of days passed by, and then she decided to go back again. So there was some time that passed here, and but she still felt the need to be there for the family and stuff like that. So th these are the hard parts. Like, even when Mehdi was supposedly flirting with the woman, the, the lady from his job, uh, even Zenep started having those feelings of a bit of jealousy, but it's okay to have that because that is her ex-husband. And so she's thinking that those small things of jealousies could kind of be like what Medi's having when it comes to her and body spray and stuff like that. But things just kept getting worse, especially after Mujgan died. Like Medi didn't seem to have much of a sense of direction. And so he just started to see Bay as this person taking his wife away and those things just kind of started to pile up especially like the confusing things that would happen like her going to his house staying with him through the night you know even like him telling her that he moved to this address and her seeing him in the neighborhood and going to his house like these kind of things don't set boundaries even though she was quite upset that he moved into the neighborhood and then like he invited her to the opening of his shop and she's like starting to see like whoa Medi is like no matter what he's like everywhere it's like and he keeps referring to her as his wife like and even her mom would still say things like, you know, don't do these, don't do this, don't do that, because you'll make Medi angry. Don't do this, don't do that, because you make Medi angry. And she just keeps having this like thing where she doesn't, she can't make that separation of ex-wife. Like she's the ex-wife. She's no longer a wife. A few times she made tried to make that separation, but something would always happen that would just blur the lines for her. So 
now we're at this point where Mehdi has done like the absolute worst. Like he kidnapped her, he almost ran over Badish Bay, like he had a gun in the car. And even though we are all thinking in the back of our minds, like Mehdi would never do that. He would never like shoot her, especially after what happened to his sister. He would never do that. Like in reality, we really don't know what Mehdi would have done. We just don't know. We have no clue what Mehdi would have done. And so these kind of things are frightening. So I was still like on, like I was watching the last episode and I just had this sense of, I don't like Badish Bay because like he just blurted out the fact that, you know, Mehdi had the gun in the car and, and he's like, he sees Mehdi in such this horrible way. And then when you look at someone like Jemile and you look at how Zainab is thinking like, dude, like we've been with this guy for, long time we know Maddie like he's he's really a console and it, and he only gets overprotective for his family and stuff like that like why would he do something like that but then I had to think to myself Badish Bay doesn't know Maddie personally doesn't know Maddie personally so he can't make that judgment call like everyone else so in his mind he sees Maddie as this just vagabond horrible person and then Everybody else is looking and very confused as what's going on with Mehdi. We never knew him this way. Sultan never knew him longer, never knew him that way. Um, you know, Jemile, and they didn't know him that way. So, it, it and we know him from what we've been seeing this whole entire time up till now. But obviously there are some issues. And so I was editing the video. I did a review video for the episode and it just, it keeps getting copyrighted. So this might actually get posted before that video gets posted. Um, so I was editing it and I was like listening to my commentary and looking at the little video pieces I was putting in and seeing in, when um, Emine was talking about the different men that Zainab has been with and how they've treated her. And she also talked about her relationship with Mehdi to Zainab and she said Mehdi liked the past you. Mehdi liked the person that was in need, like the, the scared the scared cat that needed someone to take care of it. Med, that's what Mehdi liked. He liked the fact that he could come in as this hero and just take care of her all the time and that's what Mehdi loves you know, but doesn't love her for the person that she is you know. He just loves her for what he can do for her so that he can be seen in a certain way. And and then I was looking at another part of my review and I saw when I was talking about how Mehdi walked into jail like he was some kind of boss guy. And then like when that prisoner was working out, he started talking about, oh, you know, I got a son like you. And everybody's trying to, and the other people are trying to talk to him, try to give him advice. And he's kind of like, I don't need the advice or whatever, you know, I'm not going to be doing anything, you know. So Mehdi doesn't like to take any kind of direction. He wants to be the boss all the time. He wants to be the superior person at all times. He doesn't want anyone to have any kind of, uh, superiority over him like that's his thing so he has this kind of macho attitude and then I was listening to what I said about the letter that he had written to her saying you know I should have known that da, 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 da. it's definitely a breakup letter like I should have known that you didn't love me like that and you are not my home anymore and you know you burned my home down so here's a house and matches so you can have another house to burn like that was very vindictive especially after what he did to her and then I'm looking at you know what I said about the lawyer how the lawyer is saying like dude leave her alone she's freaked out and he's like um oh, it's okay you know you don't have to tell me whatever like so he likes that that behavior he likes that. And even when Badish Bay, it, it wasn't this last episode, it was the episode before, Badish Bay had said, was talking to Banal, and Banal was blaming Zaina for being kidnapped by saying she didn't listen to Mehdi. She did not, you know, succumb to him and his desires. She didn't make him happy. And then I'm looking at Jemile, and Jemile is like, we have to do everything to make him happy. And he's like, yo, like, 
why can't the man just feel the wrong that he did? And then I'm seeing, listening to New and New saying, like, the whole time I was saying, just accept the girl, you know, she loves you, whatever. And he kept saying, no, she doesn't love me. And then I started thinking about all the times where Maddie would constantly throw it in her face that she didn't love him, that she's going to leave him, and all of that stuff. And even Zayna brought it up. She said, like, the entire time, um, you know, I was trying to be there, be with Mehdi and Mehdi was trying to kick me out and now when I finally kick, leave, he's trying to get me back. It's so true, like he has to control the situation at all times. And so I started to see Mehdi in a completely new sight. Like I see Mehdi completely different now. And one thing that I had to say to myself, especially watching the end of the episode and listening to my commentary where I'm like, I don't know if I like Badish Bay, you know, da 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 da. And then I'm thinking to myself, I completely understand, I understand women in domestic situations now. Every time a, a, a woman is in a domestic situation that it looks like, like, why won't you just leave, just leave the guy? I now understand why they don't leave. I understand because here I am, a person watching from the outside looking in and I'm still having this thing like, oh, but she's like, she's supposed to be with Nettie. Like in the beginning, that made, like it made sense, you know? We only wanted her to be with Nettie because it's Ibrahim. But now when I'm looking at the character himself and seeing the character that he's portraying, I'm starting to realize like, no, she shouldn't be with Medi. But even in my, my review, I did say, like, there's no way she can ever go back to Medi. Not now. Because it would just be a slap in the face to everyone. But at the same time, I want to take that a step further. Why should she even go back to Medi? Like, Medi is the definition of an abusive uh, relationship. He, he built this abusive relationship with Zainab. He used her fears and insecurities against her by making her feel sorry for him all the time. At first, he's trying to be super controlling, you know, he didn't know her yet, and so he tried to do his little thing, then he was controlling, and then he was trying to be accepting, but it just wasn't him, so he went back to being controlling, but this time in a rougher way. Like, he's a controlling, abusive person, and he abuses her emotionally, and that was painted so blue and true in that letter that he wrote. He is an abusive person, so she should not be with him. None of us should be rooting for them to be together at all, and the show should not make any reason for them to ever get back together. I, I would love to see the struggle, the struggle that they're gonna have to go through to get through, you know, because Medi's already said that he's not gonna stop loving her. So I would love to see the struggle that they're gonna go through, but there's no way I can honestly say to myself, like, yes, I want her to ever go back to him. If he changes or he gets better, or anything like that, no. But here's the thing, if the show goes as long as I hope it does, she could possibly end up back with him because in domestic situations, a lot of domestic women, when they get out, they, they, they always end up going back. Some of them end up going back for some reason and we all look at them like, oh my gosh, you're so dumb for doing that. But we just don't understand the ties and the manipulation that goes on in those situations. So they might bring light to that by having Zainab go back with Mehdi for some reason, but at the end of the day, she shouldn't because even Faduk was a manipulator. Faduk tried to manipulate her all the time. That's why it was so hard. Remember when it was hard for him, her to just tell him to leave her alone? Like it was so hard because she was constantly being a pleaser and they all use that against her because they know that she's a pleaser. And so that's why I decided to look at Badish Bay differently because Badish Bay does like Zenith for who she is and actually does respect her. And it's a new relationship. So yes, I think it's a little bit too fast and in the situation she's in, I don't think it should be happening right now, but I'm not gonna discredit Badish Bay. Yes, he's had past relationships I don't know about. Maybe I'm gonna learn about it and I'm absolutely not gonna like him, but right now, he hasn't given me any true reason for me not to like him as a suitable person for her. And maybe she can learn about a real relationship, like Eminem says, a real like love type relationship with Badish. Maybe she, maybe we never know. Or 
she can end up back with Medi, go through some things again, and then have to leave again. I don't know, but that's why I am team Badish and I'm absolutely no longer team Medi because there's no reason for us to have a woman, no matter how cute he is, no matter all the lies and whatever, it doesn't matter. Like, it's it can't happen. So I was just thinking about it all night and I was like, oh my gosh, I got to post a video about this because I kind of felt stupid about some of the things that I said in my pot, in my review, but I did, I did, I did recant to some things. I did say like, I should give Badish a chance, you know, whatever. But maybe because he stepped in at that specific time when she's in the middle of leaving her husband, maybe that just turned me the wrong way, but she obviously should have the chance at better relationships and shouldn't have to be alone just because she's gonna be afraid of what Medi's going to do to her. So, I know that was a lot, but I just had to say, share that with you guys. Let me know what you guys think. Do you, are you team Medi still? Or have you converted to team Badish? Or are you team nobody and just want Zaynep to be alone? Which kind of is true. She should be alone for some time because she really does need to grow into herself a bit more. But I will say one thing. Her, her, um... Her back and forth with Badish is a whole lot different from anyone else's. Like, she's not intimidated, and she's not doing any of the pleaser things. She tries. You saw in the last episode, she was, like, trying to do some things to just be like, oh, my gosh, you know, it's Badish Bay, it's Badish Bay, it's Badish Bay. But it's not, like, what it is there. So those are some of her, her things that she has to work on. But that doesn't mean that she needs to be alone for that long like I think that she's grown a lot and she's learned a lot so I don't know let me know what you guys think I am no longer team Medi. like I'm just watching him to see what he does and I want to add something listen to this remember Ibrahim now I'm talking about Ibrahim not Medi. Ibrahim played in another show uh what was it called I'm gonna post a picture of it I hate this show I absolutely hate it. Do you know why? This woman was married, happily married to her husband. Yes, they had issues, but what marriage does not have issues? And then in comes Ibrahim's character, and he sees her and steps into this woman's life, convinces her that she can leave her husband to be with him, and do you know what this man did? Okay, I understand that it's because this female actress left the show, but if she... I hate when women leave the show and then they try to make them look a certain way. He, I just can't even verbalize it. I hate this show so much, guys. This guy meets his ex, for his first love again. Like she comes back out of nowhere. And all of a sudden, he decides he wants to be with his first love. But you already took this woman out of her marriage. You already broke her marriage. Yes, they were having issues, but you cut the cake. And now you're going to leave her for your first love? You should have never interfered in the first place. Guys, I stopped watching that show because I was so irritated. And then they made it that she was snooping and then she dies and all that stuff. And, like, guys. <sighs> Medi, well, not Medi. Ibrahim knows how to play these roles, guys. That's going to be making me mad. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Don't forget to click that like button and that subscribe button. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. Like, at first he was trying to be controlling. Then he realized he couldn't be controlling. I'm like, whoop. That was a fly. That was really scary.